Okay, so what am I doing here? I came up with a uh, acoustic riff last night. Um, I was over a couple friends' house. It was Christmas, well, Christmas Day. But yeah, I was just over there. My family's not doing anything till Saturday, so they were kind of like the same boat, like not really doing much, so we just went over there, had some food, watched TV, and that was about it. Uh, yeah, I grabbed my acoustic because I just like to take it with me. I was sitting there on the couch and I came up with something, so I recorded it with my phone so I wouldn't forget it. This is what I was playing. <laughs> So that's like the riff, and then I kind of go into this little uh, neat little C major. C major nine. And then I go into just like a little build up thing like this. So that's it, and I was just, like thinking about it, and I might just keep it acoustic, but when I get to the chorus part, I'll probably add a couple other things in. A tune. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I might like add a couple things in. It just depends on how, how I'm feeling when I get through this. So today I'm supposed to be going out again with family, but I kind of have like a little like window of time in between which is why I'm out here, so I just wanted to get at least this down. Good enough. So what I'm gonna just do is uh, probably just play the acoustic guitar and then I'm most likely, I don't know, maybe I'll get more done, we'll see. So yeah, I think I'm gonna finger pick it like that, make it all like mysterious and stuff. <laughs> okay, so let me just get this going. Mm -hmm. Cheapo headphones in place. Okay, so like usual, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know, but I just play to a drum beat, which is kind of like my net metronome, and it sucks. It's really generic, but it just helps me play in time, so it's not going to be the final product. I play an actual drum beat later, so just deal with it for now. It's just kind of an annoying thing, but it's less annoying than the metronome click on here, just going ding, 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 over and over, because I hate that. Okay, here we go. All right, so that should do it for the first take. Awesome. That's gonna be a left side and then I'm gonna double it and do a right side.
That should do it for take two. I think I'm getting where the hell are you text right now. Let me see. Yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> I at least got these done. So yeah, that's the left and right side for the acoustic guitar. Now I just have to decide if I want to put electric guitar in this or not. Maybe I'll just come back and double up the choruses with more acoustics. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to like think about that while I'm doing all of the stuff I'm doing, holiday whatnot. See you in a day or two or I have no idea. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? So it's the next day I came out. I'm still working on this song. The acoustic part's laid down, so now I just have to do some other stuff because I think I'm gonna add little, like, things as the song carries on and just kind of, like, build it up. I'm gonna let, like, that first little, like... That first little, like, uh, phrase go through, like, four times, and it goes to the little pre-chorus part, I guess you'd call it. That happens, then it goes back to the verse. So right after that, I think I'm gonna start in with some electric guitar, and then I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm just gonna go all the way through again, uh, right once I start there. So I guess I'm just gonna start recording this. Alright, and uh, that's the uh, left side, so now the right side, which is pretty much what I always do. Sweet, that's the uh, right side now. Hmm. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do something in the pre-chorus and the chorus to just like thicken it up with the guitar. So I'm not sure what that is, but let's just try stuff. All right, I think I got something. So I'm just gonna do like a little octave thingy. Per usual, we're going to double that up. Okay, here we go. So, last choruses. I gotta think if I wanna add 
any more on top of those last choruses just to build them up further. Could just do like a really easy E minor arpeggio. <laughs> That works quite well. So we have, yeah. I'll just double it. Okay, so that chorus is doubled. Normally I put a solo like right in like the little middle section of the song. I might do like an outro solo. So I'll do like, I'll sing that first chorus and then have the uh, guitar just take over at the end. Fade it out maybe, I'll see. Sweet. Now I just have to do the bass guitar. I'm just gonna follow along and see what happens. So I'm just gonna hit record and play stuff. It's gonna be a simple part, so it shouldn't be that hard. So that should do it. Let me uh, reposition the camera and I'll get going on the drums. All right, here I am at the drums. Let's just try and get these done. Um, I'm just gonna come up with some stuff. I don't know, I'll probably do like a Tom thing in a pre-chorus or build part, I mean, after the pre-chorus actually. Really easy, easy verse stuff and then just simple chorus stuff. So let's just do it. Got it done. Might end up doing the vocals today. Let's just see what happens. Okay, hey, what's up? So I ran into the house to grab well, this coat because it was just a little cold and I got some water and some food and stuff like that. So I came back out and now I'm gonna do the vocals. I decided to take a little time and actually just do like I wanted to do a little bit of like uh, orchestration on this one fake orchestration I should say with uh, just like synthesizers and stuff I used the uh, built-in logic one and then uh yeah so I just kind of came up with some stuff which you probably can't really see on the camera anyway and I don't feel like doing a screen capture but I can solo it out so it's just like
That's about where that guitar solo is going to go in, so that's going to be, like, huge. going on right there yeah so let me get into the vocals so uh while i was doing that i kind of just like in my head came up with a little melody i did a scratch track thing which i've done on my other other videos i just basically mumble incoherent lyrics sometimes i actually come up with lyrics while doing that but i just kind of like badly mumble a melody just so i don't forget it This song is actually pretty short because like the whole intro is just the acoustic guitars going by themselves. And then uh, the chorus part is like... So that'll be the chorus and uh, it, it's a little weird because like there's no compressor on there so the loud parts are super loud, the quiet parts are super quiet. And uh, like I said, there's no lyrics, it's just incoherent mumbling and stuff like that. I'm gonna write lyrics now, so yeah, I'll probably speed that up because long and boring and stupid and I'll play this song over it. Yeah, let me write some lyrics. Okay, so I have the lyrics done. I'm going to play my incoherent scratch track melody thing and sing with it. So it's gonna sound a little iffy right now, but I just have to practice a little bit so I can get this down. Uh, this melody is like too much like some other ones. Let me see if I can tweak it. That's good enough to remember it. I didn't want you to see what I... Yeah. That's actually easy. Now I can go to the uh, second verse and just do that. And hit the wrong button, that'll be cool. <laughs> as long as I don't hit the delete everything button, I'm good. I don't think there is one. Yes. All right, pre-courses. gonna double the pre-chorus and the chorus.
Okay, I say it every time I do one of these, but when I record these, I usually do one up the middle and then two on the sides that are like panned, like probably like minus 30 and plus 30, something like that, left and right. And then I do, well, I just turn them down like minus 10 dB. So they just kind of like mesh with the main vocal and uh, just kind of like make it a little bigger. So it's like the little like inconsistencies and whatnot kind of just kind of make like a chorusing effect. And then it like really like accentuates it through the uh, chorus part. What happens right now though, is they're all the same volume pan center. So it sounds like garbage because they're just like clashing with each other. Well, not clashing clashing, but they're just like phasey and weird. Just understand that that's what's going on. Um, okay, third one. All right, let's do the end one here. So turn that on and here we go. Okay, so now the question is, should I put a harmony on this? Yeah, one up the middle, two on the sides, and then usually if I do a harmony, that's gonna be like right up the middle too. It's just gonna be turned down. Let me just like mess around. I just lost my page, crap. I'm just gonna mix that down so yeah i just put a compressor an eq the compressor is like four to one ratio fast attack slow release um soft knee um i usually put like a little bit of an overdrive there's like an overdrive setting on the compressor and that i just do on like the main vocals the other ones don't have it they're just clean and it's like a very light overdrive it just pushes the harmonics up a little bit so it just kind of like pops through the mix um the eq is just extreme highs and lows i think it's like anything below like 80 and anything above 11 K, something like that. So it just gets really like white noise and stuff. You know, like the little rumble picking up from my uh, heater, which doesn't pick up too bad on these videos, but it's probably there a little bit. And then, yeah, I just, like I said, I pan the two dubs left and right, about like 30, 35-ish left and right. And then I do like minus 10 dB on them just to turn them down. The harmonies, it's just kind of to taste, usually like minus eight to minus 11, depending on what I, you know, how in a key I was <laughs> and just how much I want them to be like prominent in the mix. So that's that. Uh, now I'm going to combine all this footage, put it in multiple screens, so it's just me playing as like a big band, like, well not a big band, but <laughs> as a whole band. And it's a giant pain in the butt, but it's fun to edit once I get to the point where it's all like coming together and stuff, and uh, it's just kind of cool to see that. So let me get to that. I'm dancing around because I have to pee. <laughs> um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. I just kind of like to do these because it's cool to like show how I write a song and like put it all together. It's not really all that complicated. I don't go too much into technical detail about what I'm doing on my DAW here. It's like Logic Pro 10 and I just kind of like have a preset, like just like a template that I open up because like a lot of my songs usually are going to have like a very similar you know, format. So it's like, I just have a bunch of guitar tracks so I can just like overdub like crazy and not really have to worry about like creating new ones. I have a bass track, an electronic drum track, and I ha always have that like little like uh, drum loop going on the top just so I can like do whatever to tempo. And then I have like a vocal track opened up, which I just like duplicate and then just keep throwing extra stuff on. So yeah, 